Hi, this is Anne from Edmsaw.com. In this video I'll show you how to make a really cute skirt. I made this one for my daughter. The fabric you can buy on Edmsaw.com. And the pattern is from Pro Solo. My daughter is 7 years old, but all sizes um, are there from 2 to 12 years old. So. Um, you don't have to print out the pattern, it's just, they're just all rectangular pieces you put together. So there's a waistband with an elastic and it has two side pockets. In this picture you can see my daughter wearing the skirt, it's really cute and she loves it. So if you're interested, just watch this video or go to my blog for more details. You'll need one yard and a half of your favorite cotton fabric, one yard of 3 4 inch wide braided elastic and matching thread. These are the tools I used, cutting natural and rotary cutter, scissors, an overcast foot, an edge joining foot, white hammer foot, heat erasable gel pen, my pins and clips, and of course a sewing machine and regular needle. Let's go! We start by cutting the fabric. You'll need two main panels, 24 by 14 and a half, two side panels, 6 by 17 inch, two pocket panels, 6 by 10 and a half, and a long strip for the waistband, which is 3 inch to 29. Fold the long edges of the waistband half an inch towards the wrong side and press. I use a little cardboard to help me iron straight seams. You can just draw the lines you need on the cardboard and fold along the lines and iron over it. For me it's a great help. Now fold the waistband in half lengthwise, wrong sides together and press the fold. Then open up the folds at the two short ends with the right sides together, put the ends together, pin in place and sew along the short edge with a half inch seam. Press the seam to one side and if you want, sew it down with an edge stitch. Mark the top middle of all panels. It will help you to position the panels to attach the waistband and also to gather the fabric evenly later on. So let's put the pieces together. The pocket piece and the side panel will make one long strip. Put the right sides together and the bottom edge of the side panel and the top edge of the pocket piece together. Pin and sew along this short edge with a half inch seam. I use my overcast foot but you can also use your serger to finish the edge. Press the seam towards the pocket piece and edge stitch. You will have to follow these three steps for all the seams of the skirt panel. So first sew the edges together, half inch seam with a regular presser foot. Then step two, finish the edges with a serger or an overcast foot and an overcast stitch. And then three, finish the seam with an edge stitch using an edge joining foot and also a regular stitch. Put the long strip you made next to the main panel and put the top edge on the same line as the top edge of the main panel and the bottom edge on the same line as the bottom edge. The seam you made will become the top of your pocket, so put that on the height you want the pocket and all the fabric that is left will be the inside of your pocket. Put the right side of this panel on top of your main panel. Pin the two panels together and follow the three steps I mentioned before. So sew together, finish the edges with an overcast foot and top stitch with an edge stitch. Now you repeat all steps for the three pieces of fabric you have left. So you make the pocket and you put the side panel onto the main panel, stitch everything together following the three steps. Now you have two panels like this, 
you attach the two panels following the same three steps for stitching. So stitch them together, use your overcast foot and then an edge stitch. And then in the end, you get a long loop of fabric, which is now your skirt. Now hem the bottom edge of the long loop. I use my white hem foot for the first time, the half an inch white hem foot, and it went really well. The start is a little hard, going over seams also needs a little attention, but with some help from Google and YouTube, I managed quite well. To ruffle your fabric, you need to base the top edge of your loop. Set your stitch length the biggest possible, five or more, and without back stitching, you stitch two parallel lines, half an inch from each other, and afterwards you will have to remove these stitches, so don't back stitch. Start and stop the basting stitches at each seam line and leave a 3 to 4 inch tail of thread at each end so you can gather each panel separately. Now tie the thread tails together at one end of each pair of basting stitches. First tie the two top threads together and then the two bobbin threads. Leave the threads at the other end of the stitch lines loose. Now pull the unknotted top threads of all four panels to gather the fabric. Start with the side panels until they measure approximately 3 inch. Gather the main panel to 9 inch and then check if your skirt has the same width as your waistband. If not, you have to gather some more or ungather a little. Tie knots in the top and bobbin threads and then space the gathers evenly. Now open up the fold and place the waistband over the skirt with the right sides together. Match the raw edge of the bottom side of the waistband to the ruffled edge of the skirt. Match the center points of the loop to the marks on the waistband and pin it in place. Now sew around the skirt using your regular presser foot and regular stitch and Use the crease in the waistband as a guide, which is at half an inch. Now fold the waistband over the raw edge of the skirt. Press the raw edge of the waistband under by half an inch. You have that crease already. The wrong sides together. Pin it to the inside of the skirt, ensuring the fold line overlaps the waist seam. Now insert some pins in the right side of the skirt, exactly in the little seam between the skirt and the waistband. Then look at the side, the inside of the skirt and check if the pins are holding down the seam on the other side. If they're not, you have to adjust, press and repin as needed. Now you have to stitch in the middle of the ditch. That's the little valley between the waistband and the skirt and hope that your stitches vanish from sight. The stitch in the ditch foot is a great help for this precision job. Place the little guide in the ditch and stitch all around. But don't forget to leave half an inch, no, one and a half inch gap to insert the elastic. To finish up, pull out any basic stitches that show below the edge of the waistband. So now take your elastic, test if the width, the length of the elastic is okay uh, with the waist and then um, put it in with a safety pin, overlap like half an inch and zigzag the two ends together. And then watch out that your uh, elastic isn't twisted and make a vertical seam through all four layers at the center points to prevent the elastic from twisting and close the gap with a stitch in the ditch. Your skirt is ready! Ta-da! If you have any question, don't hesitate to send me an email on anne at madamso.com. I'll be happy to answer all of your questions and I'd love to receive a picture of what you're making. So
So you can also subscribe to our newsletter, then you get all free tutorials in your mailbox. And I wish you a very nice day. Bye!